Hello, everyone. Pally Tub here, and welcome back to Heroes of the Storm. We're continuing our Tracer Deep Dive in today's video, and we're taking a look at her melee build. This playstyle is all about getting up close and personal to your enemies and smacking them right where it hurts. I always wish this ability was called Pistol Whip because, of course, Tracer has pistols in both hands. This allows us to charge our Pulse Bomb very quickly, Tracer's ultimate ability that she has access to at level 1. This was the strongest way of playing Tracer back in the day when Quantum Spike had even more percent damage on that initial hit because you could just charge up your ult so fast and then do so much damage to the tankiest of tanks. I think any choice for ultimate is totally fine and totally viable now. And if you stick with this playstyle by later in the game, you even get some wave clear as well. It is super duper fun. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you do, please be sure to hit that thumbs up button. There is a Heroes of the Storm deep dive playlist in the video description that we are always adding content to. So if you enjoyed this video, odds are you're going to enjoy those. Make sure you check that out. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we find ourselves on the Dragonshire map today. The friendly team Tracer, ETC, Rhaegar, Junkrat, and Leoric. The enemy team Tronda. Zul, Deathwing, Nova, and Diablo himself. We're going for a punch build on Tracer this game. That means at level one, we take one, two punch. Reduce the cooldown of melee by one second, which I mean, it only has an eight second cooldown. And it's also going to give us an additional charge. The idea of this build is that we're going in and punching stuff all of the time. The melee attack is the best way of charging up your pulse bomb, which is our ult that we have access to at level one. So the most important thing for me to do is literally hit anyone. It doesn't matter who, just like that, we got so much charge. Now I hit this guy. I think that leap was a little generous, but we formed the body block triangle. <laughs> Dying has no negative implications on me. We don't have a permanently stacking quest or anything just yet. We're not untouchable. It's totally fine. Zul for the enemy team is pushing the bottom lane, but it looks like Junkrat is moving down to answer that. And I'm just going to try to roam around and be useful wherever I can. It is my goal to use melee every time it's up just to get these pulse bomb cooldowns back off cooldown faster, charges charged faster. Uh, but other than that, that's really my only game plan. Get my ult, then go gank with the ult that I just got. Uh, Deathwing should give me quite a lot of charge. And now we're going to rotate down to bottom to see if we can help out with this. Torondo is Perenderu. The pulse bomb does land and she loses her life for that push. I think we just uh, move up to Zul and get another smack, but unfortunately we can. So Q ability is blink. It allows me to reposition very small increments, but move around fights and hopefully not get completely owned. Wait, that's real. Wait. <laughs> uh, my W ability is the melee that we've been talking about. It's going to be a core component of our build today. And then E is a really long 20 second cooldown that allows me to return to where I was two seconds earlier and remove a bunch of debuffs and stuff like that. Level four is here and we are gonna take Pulse Generator. Pulse Bomb heals Tracer for 20%, it's 18, but 20% of her total health. That may sound like a lot, but you uh, don't have any health. So it's like you get 200 fucking health back. Do what you want with it, good luck. Uh, that being said, good Pulse Bomb right here could do some pretty good damage to that Diablo. We are in charge of the top objective right now. The Pulse Bomb is out, is it enough? Yes, it is, if we throw in a melee attack as well. Uh, now, we will eventually get some pretty big percentage damage on all of these bombs, but for right now, we're more of a nuisance to these tankier dudes than anything else. Uh, Taranda and Nova are in the middle of the map right now, which means Zul's by himself down in the bottom lane. Also means I can't do much there at all. That's real. I don't have tracer rounds though, so I can't reveal her anymore. I can move in for a bit of damage on this Zul as he's overextending. Keep up the slaps for some increased DPS too. Taronda seems to be dealing with the damage fairly well. And I'm just going to rewind that root. Put a pulse bomb on Taronda as we do that. Uh, Sippy Cup will help out a lot. She already sniped, so she can't hit me. And we'll just zip away from that. 
stun from Tyrande. ETC did a really good job of holding down middle lane here. Let's see if we can rotate up and help him with a little bit of damage. Diablo, unfortunately, backing up right as I started to move. Zul has arrived. And unfortunately, ETC was pushed into the corner. I do have Pulse Bomb if we need it. Zul's feeling pretty confident, I imagine, here in a lane full of minions to help him out. And one of his stupid skeletons stopped me from getting the objective right there. We're gonna take sleight of hand. It is simply reloading faster. We don't have to think about it at all. It just does its job and that's wonderful. He did shield a lot of that pulse bomb. I did not rewind away. I wanted to stay out on the battlefield if I could. Uh, I have another melee in just a moment for Diablo, but unfortunately he's just a smidgen out of range. Moving in for body blocks on him now, and it looks like we do take down the Lord of Terror himself. Leorg's doing a great job of holding that top objective. I'm gonna see if I can move down and help with the bottom one here. That is real Nova. Oh God, I wish I could reveal her, dude. Oh, I wish I had tracer rounds, bro. I just keep catching her. Oh uh, wait, I can't melee a cloaked unit, right? That doesn't work. I have to be able to see it, right? I didn't even think about that. Uh, we do have the option of getting middle. Let's see if it's a possibility. Pulse Bomb goes out. He probably has another shield. Shield ate the whole thing. ETC moving in for some big damage. We're going to move in and try to body block our opponent, which we did relatively well. But of course, we lose bottom immediately after. Let's see if we can poke some damage into this Deathwing, see how he reacts to that. Looks like Nova might be above us here as well. Uh, we left middle open, so I'm going to go for the channel first. I think Nova left. Yep. Yep, we're good. Nothing to fear. I feel like we're just playing a game of cat and mouse here, though. We've made no real meaningful progress on grabbing this objective. Once we hit level 10, I can do quite a lot of damage to Deathwing. So I'm kind of waiting for that moment. There's three down here. At least. We don't know where Nova is. Here's Pulse Bomb. Rewind. Melee. Oh, 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 oh. Quick sip. And now we're going to take Quantum Spike. This is going to allow our bombs to do 6% of our target's maximum health and damage. Nova's looking for me. I just got to dodge. Uh, so that means Deathwing takes hundreds, maybe even like a thousand damage from our ship. Like, no lie. Diablo here, too, is going to take quite a lot as well. So it's very important that I move in and just try to get my... I need to just move, move, move. Don't get sniped. Fuck. I need to try to just get my charge up for my ultimate and use it as often as I possibly can. This is only the beginning of our melee getting stronger, too, because this is actually a melee bonus once we get to level 20 and get good stuff. But we'll cross that bridge when we get there. It looks like the enemy team is doing a great job of holding on to the bottom objective. Deathwing has moved to the middle of the map. And so am I. I'm going to pay him a little visit here. A little visit here. Uh, they're still holding bottom very well. We don't know where Nova is, so I don't want to be too aggressive. Damn, minions hurt. Stop it, minions. See if I can get a chain heal. Man, couldn't even get an attack in. I think if I hit him with my ult, it's just gonna like take a fucking armor piece immediately. That's decoy. We dodged snipe that time, thankfully. <sighs> just setting ourselves up though, to be poked again. Bottom lane fight is in full swing. Let's see if we can help. I do have, oh God, water bottle fell. I do have a pulse bomb ready for Diablo if we need it. Good damage, that was 600 damage on that. I think Taronda might be able to outhill my pea shooter though. My, I'm only a really big threat to these tanks when my ult is ready. Which once again, really reinforces the need of moving in and hitting my W. I cannot believe how long we've been fighting over the first objective of the game, though. This is getting a little fucking ridiculous. It looks like three members of the enemy team are up top right now. Let me see if I can get a kill on this Taronda if she's down here by herself. It looks like she didn't even move up at all. 
She's just totally hanging back. Well, if we kill that tower, she doesn't have anything to fall back to. We can put more pressure on these guys if they're just turtling down here. Diablo thinking about moving in on me. The pulse bomb is out. And once again, 600 damage right there. That's not bad at all. I'm going to take jumper for a little bit of a shield. It'll allow me to reposition in fights, move in towards an enemy, and hopefully melee them with that shield up before we lose our actual health bar. Uh, real Nova is right here. Let's just deal some damage to it and then move towards Deathwing with that bloodlust coming out from our Rhaegar. I wasn't expecting that, but man, that increases my damage quite a lot. Uh, uh, I can poke him. That's all I got. That's all I got. I think we... Enemy team, grab the objective! They fucking did the impossible! Uh, pulse bomb just for some health there. Looks like the dragon is moving in on middle right now. Nova in the driver's seat. She's doing the right thing and going for the building that matters. I can get ultimate charge off of her, and I'm going to take my sippy cup before the building gets destroyed. Move in melee. Move in melee. Ooh, Deathwing's coming back in too. I can kite away from him, no problem. I did lose vision there for a second. Real Nova's bottom of the screen. I don't think we jump in on it, though. I think we're chilling. I think we're chilling. I do have a pulse bomb for their Diablo we'll send out. But then we just immediately go back to lane and we start clearing one more time. One of my biggest weaknesses on Tracer is my lack of wave clear. That's why I've been trying to roam in between these lanes to help out rather than just camping a lane on my own. But once we get level 16, that's going to change. Our W ability, instead of being a single target melee, is going to be an AOE melee around us. And with the two charges that we picked up at level 1, it means we can very, very effectively clear out lanes fast. Uh, Deathwing is rotating, but the Cataclysm going out puts him in a good spot. That fire of his dealing quite a lot of damage to the Mercenary Camp, too. Oh, I mean... I think I'm chilling, boys. Pulse bomb's out, but it was on a decoy. Let's just start immediately meleeing again. Try to build up that charge. We can just kill this in the lane. It's not a big deal. I'm going to manually reload really fast, though. And if Zul's this far forward, we'll try to be a nuisance towards him. Move in with a couple melees here, too. All right, so we're getting bullet spray now. Everything that, every time we hit a W, it's gonna be an AOE around us. Let me pulse bomb this guy. Go ahead and just slam him with a W really fast too. I'm gonna have to double dash to the right to try to get away from some of that incoming damage, but we did it. Uh, Deathwing holding off that line with that fire though. I'm not gonna be able to contest that. I can just kind of walk into this wave though and spam B and look, it died pretty fast. It's not bad at all. Uh, Diablo might be rotating above us. I'm attack moving into these bushes, just to be sure, just to be safe. Uh, I want to push this out if I can. Uh, top lane, we have a Leoric, who's just came back to life. Uh-oh. Good, good juke. I don't know how you get out of that, though. Unless I could draw their attention somehow. Wait, he actually got out of it. <laughs> I cannot believe they just let him live. All right, I'm going for the early sip, and I'm going to focus Taronda with the Pulse Bomb instead of Diablo. If we kill the healer, he gets a lot less healing. Unfortunately, I did get a little too close to the fire there. We got a little too singed, but a great CC trade from our team puts Diablo back in front of our wall. He is going to sacrifice the souls in his bucket to return back to life now. So we we only have even numbers. We don't have a numbers advantage. Diablo is going to be back on the map really soon. Uh, we should be going for a quick cap here, though, very, very quickly. Can ETC grab it? Nova is in range and intercepting. We're going to be back up in 15 seconds, and it looks like our... No! 
Rhaegar almost had it, but Zul in the top lane managed to contest at the last possible moment. Leoric moving in, dealing lots of damage though, and Zul does get taken down. Taronda's back on the map. If we can keep our Junkrat alive here, that's gonna be huge, and a great disengage on his part allows him to get back to safety. We are cruising in, no pulse bomb though, so our damage is a little limited. Uh, Deathwing's right here. I'm gonna start causing problems for this dude just right away. Just run in melee, melee. Get my pulse bomb shit. Break an armor plate. All right, that was good. That was good rotation. Got an armor plate, good rotation. Uh, there are some pings going out for a mercenary camp. Looks like uh, Nova may have tried to steal it and she didn't get too far. We'll go ahead and take that. AOE the camp down as well. Uh, they are contesting bottom right now. Let me see if I can rotate in and help. Diablo on the right traded in all of his souls, so he's pretty weak. So I'm going to make him my main target here. Pulse Bomb does land for big damage, and we're just spamming melee every step along the way from there. Middle should be open. Once I kill that minion, we should grab it. Oh, my God. The owl. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I'm a wizard, Harry, and at level 20, we get our first dragon of the game. <laughs> uh, I'm going to use it just to move it on this melee or a middle tower here and just melee it down. Uh, I was hoping to be really aggressive with my positioning and just kind of open up the map a little bit more, but I lost a little bit too much health there. Leoric did just grab top. We got middle, and now I'm going to rotate to bottom to get this as well. But we'd have quite a long time left on the duration of this dragon, uh, but not a lot of health, so I am going to need to protect it. Deathwing raining down terror from above is going to limit my time a little bit. Uh, this is not real. Great wall catches Deathwing before he can make it back into town. That fire underneath his feet doing a number two. The dragon knight is done, but it claimed two buildings before it left. Uh, I think we're chilling. Pulse is not ready. It is now, but I don't have an easy target to use it on. Good stuff. Damage out onto Diablo, and he's taken down. That was real Nova, which is insane. I'm hoping I get some heals from Ragnaros. We're just going to kind of wait this out. I don't need to go in and do anything too crazy. We could just kind of play this one slow. Leoric's gonna be coming back to life soon too. Real Nova is above me and she's going for a bribe right now on this camp. Ooh, that's, that was the theory. Maybe she was just checking the camp. I can kill the camp really quickly. And if they wanna contest, they are more than welcome to. Uh, I don't think I should be pushing up here. Yeah, let me get back. I think that's a decoy because it didn't deal any damage to me. Oh my God, the mind games are getting real. Okay, just clear this. Clear this and we're fine. We don't know where anyone on the enemy team is, but I have a few dashes to get back if we need to. Our tank's gonna be back up in four seconds. We have been scouted here. That's a bit scarier. But good clear, good clear. Prepare yourselves, heroes. The shrines will soon be active. What's the danger ping? The lightning shield around me helps to reveal Nova just in case we ran over to her. Like we ran over her model. That would reveal her right away. Looks like the enemy team mostly tur turtling down to the bottom right now. I'm gonna kill this wall. Take hold of the uh, Leoric is ready for a fast cap up top. That's a decoy, right? It's gotta be. Manually reload. ETC did kind of push in. I'm amazed the good stuff damage wasn't enough there. Thank you. I'll just stop right here. Thank you. Get out of that dragon breath. I don't have sip for another 10 seconds, but we will have one here. Uh, we can play around that. I can get extra charge by hitting a hero. Even though it's a decoy, it still counts as a hero. Uh, we can shoot and scoot. He tried for it. Pulse bomb's almost ready. 
The enemy team is totally ignoring our push up top right now. It's just me or is that fire visual a little weird? Nice, 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 I'm gonna try to just keep blinking through the cataclysm. Oh God, slow, it's too much. Middle is open for a dragon and it looks like Junkrat's on the way. I'm gonna try to get Pulse Bomb Charge off of middle here. We'll just push this in. Bottom is the best lane to push with the dragon. Oh my God, they fast cast top. What the fuck? Was it Nova that did that or did Deathwing fly up there? I can't tell what happened. Uh, we are going to get big percentage damage onto the enemy team's Diablo. Try to just keep our damage going here, too. Oh! <laughs> I could be triple tapped at any time. At any fucking time, I could be triple tapped. But it looks like Junkrat's grabbing top now. Zul's too slow on the rotation down bottom. So I'm going to stay. Zul wasn't too slow on his rotation. He got it. Fucking Zul, dude. Fucking Zul, dude. I'm running it down. Oh, where is he, dude? Where is he? No! Why am I fucking dismounted? We're fine. We're fine. Good stuff. If I didn't explain good stuff, it allows me to instantly set off the detonation of our ult by meleeing. We have top, so this isn't a big deal. I'm just gonna keep melling. Get charge. I got extra there because she put the decoy Jeez. on me. Fuck, I lost my sip. I have pulse. I'm on healer. Huge. Uh, I almost have pulse again. I'm just gonna focus death wing. Uh, that gives us middle, which I'm on the way for! Go! I'm just gonna run it down mid. Get on core as fast as we can. This has been a stressful game. Way more stressful than it should have been. Uh, we have 28 seconds until Nova's back on the field. This is probably core. This is probably core. Plenty of health on the Dragon Knight. 10 seconds until Nova's up. Yes. Okay. Fire, fire, fire. We just walk back in. I don't even think I need to do anything complicated. Holy shit. So I hope I showed off exactly why the melee build for Tracer is cool. It gives her lane clear late into the game, which does suck to wait that long to get, but it does allow you to kind of fill in that role, split push for your team, go out and get XP, help you get that level 20. If you were on a map like Tomb of the Spider Queen, it also means you can start to actually collect butts in a very meaningful way. But the fact that we have two charges on our melee means we're always going in. We're always hitting the enemy heroes. We're always generating ult charge. And with get stuffed at level 20, that means you're pumping a bunch of damage into a single target. The Taronda got moved away from her team there in that final fight because we got stuffed her over in that direction. We just smashed her over that way. It is so much fun. Tell us who and for in today's video are one two punch into Pulse Generator. Then into Sleight of Hand. Once again, the green reload has the best win rate at level seven. Actually, is that true? I know it's the most popular. Okay, it does also have the best win rate. It's 5% better than the blue one I'd take here. But for me, the ability to not think about reloading is better. I have better win rates because of that. Uh, then Quantum Spike into Jumper bullet spray and get stuffed as far as the level 10 ultimates go they all have roughly the same win rate and they all have roughly the same popularity however i really value getting in that extra bonus health damage versus high health targets like diablo and deathwing on the enemy 
team. Here are our stats for the round. That was a very tense match. The enemy team played very good. We just happened to win on that final objective push. That's going to do it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to check out the deep dive playlist in the video description. And I'll see you guys again soon.